Hello everybody, Shark here bringing you another video. Um, I'm sorry that um, I wasn't be able to get on at any time last night, last week I mean, because my son and his friend was here over the weekend, so I couldn't be able to get on. But I want to talk about what happened on SmackDown, you know, I mean, let's do talk about what happened on SmackDown. Okay, it, 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 one thing I want to get out of the way was a huge disappointment, and that huge disappointment was what The Fiend had to show. The, he, Bray Wyatt showed the belt that would accept to The Fiend, and that was nothing what we were expecting. You know, we were expecting maybe... Somebody new was joining Firefly, you know, new character, something or rather like that, but not a new belt. I mean, come on. That is pretty ridiculous. Now, let's skip SmackDown because I want to skip SmackDown altogether. I want to just skip it. Um, I want to talk about what happened on Raw yesterday. Um, Raw was bad, okay? It wasn't really that great. It wasn't good. It wasn't all or anything like that. It was just terrible. It was pretty bad, okay? It really was, okay? One thing I didn't look freaking like is that, again, Lana comes out and says that she put a restraining order on Rusev, so Rusev is nowhere in the building. And I'm like, I get with this bullshit. Is he afraid? Is Bobby Lashley afraid to go after Rusev or what? This is nuts, insane. But the, but after the match Bobby Lashley had with Kevin Owens. Rusev finally appeared, and he attacked Bobby Lashley. And the detectives outside, they didn't do a thing, but I do agree with them, though. They are in Tennessee, which says that no matter what, whatever state you're in, detectives, officers, whatever, they do things a little bit differently. We all know this. But what they do not do differently is that if you put your hands on an officer, you will get arrested. And the other funny part was that Lana slapped one of the detectives and she got slapped with a pair of handcuffs on her. Best ever. But getting sick and tired of that restraining order crap. It's getting old. You know, it's really getting freaking old. Another thing I didn't like, and this was stupid, okay? You had, oh, you had Tozawa going up against McIntyre, a former Cruiserweight Champion, going up against former Tag Team Champion. I mean, it, it's really not much of a match. And of course, Tozawa got freaking creamed, which was... Not fun at all, but, you know, it is what it is. One other thing I didn't like was that, okay, Andrade, Eric Young going up against Andrade. You tell me how, how is this supposed to be done? You tell me how this is turned about. Eric Young used to be in Impact Wrestling, used to be a heavyweight champion. Moose comes over to NXT with two other guys. And Nikki Cross and Eric Young became comes half of the tag team champions over in NXT. They didn't move them to SmackDown and they barely even use them. Now Eric Young, I know that the man he has a lot of talent and everything offered going inside the ring, and yet they still have Eric Young freaking just blow the match and let Andrade win. I mean, come on. I don't get that at all. 
And another thing that'll get is that the Viking Raiders go up against two guys nobody's ever fucking heard of. This is, that is really pissing me the fuck off. I am getting sick and tired of them, like, they have some right there, like, tag team champions, whatever, and they're having them go up against a pair of nobodies. I'm sick of this. WWE does not know how to use half the talent they have on the roster. They really fucking don't. It is really getting pissing me off. I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I, I don't fuck, I don't get it. I really don't. I don't understand WWE at all. I, I'm really tired of trying to understand it at all. Period. Uh, what sh what shocks me the most is that WWE NXT won the ratings past Wednesday or a week or two ago against AEW. As far as I'm concerned, I like AEW, but for some reason, but NXT turns it up a notch. This is what they gotta do. Raw and SmackDown has got to be like NXT. I'm getting sick of this. Now we're going to be going in Wednesday NXT, but then with that after that we're going to go into SmackDown. And on SmackDown, I want to know is what kind of new hairdo that Daniel Bryan's going to have. Because we saw what happened last week on SmackDown that the Fiend brought, 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 uh, dragged Daniel Bryan under the ring, through the ring, and when the Fiend came back up, there was all Daniel Bryan's hair. So, I don't know what's going on there. Can't wait to see the new hairdo. You know? Really can't wait. And, I don't know. It, oh, excuse me for a minute. Sorry, I had to fix something. And, um... If my voice sounds a little funny, I apologize. I'm having a cold. I was really feeling terrible the past two days. The last two days. Then, <coughs> excuse me. Try not to cough so much because it kills my throat. Um, yesterday I was feeling a little bit better and today I feel fine. So, I'm glad for that. Um, but, yeah, Raw really was not that great. Then at the end of Raw, we saw Randy Orton attack AJ Styles from behind. At the OC had their match against Ricochet, Carrillo, Marillo, whatever his last name is, and Rey Mysterio. So, can't wait to see what happens between Randy Orton and AJ next time around, from next week. Now, can't wait till Friday to see what kind of new hairdo Daniel Bryan has, and I can't wait till Wednesday to watch NXT to see where Finn Balor actually lies. Where does he puts himself, where does he put himself, does he put himself with the Undisputed Era, or does he just, does everything by himself with no, with nobody, he's a lone wolf, so, that's all I got for tonight, um, I, Wednesday night, I'm hoping to do another video after I watch my wrestling of NXT and watch highlights of AEW. I'll give you both of my 
opinions on those on NXT and AEW. So until then, this is Swole Shark signing off. And that's the bottom line, because I said so.